I am here in, oh, what is Fukumitsu? And all the stores are open now. The weather is really nice. I just want to find some coffee, so that's first things first. And I got XG in my fucking ear. Hey, let's go find some coffee. Y'all, I'm not even gonna front. That was one of the most awkward experiences I've had in Japan in a very, actually just ever. <laughs> they definitely, let me go down this way. Um, it was an old coffee shop. I mean, it looked like a bar, like throwback. And it was an um, older woman who was running it. <clears throat> and when she realized I was not able to speak the language, she, Kind of got a little bit of an attitude. It was not a good feeling. Um, and I completely understand, like, you know, I'm over here, like, translating on my phone to try and communicate with her, and it's awkward, and I'm sure she's like, what the fuck? And then I order my matcha, and it comes, and I was gonna go drop a, a sugar cube in there because I just love a nice sweet matcha. Oh, this is beautiful. So as I was saying, you know, I was gonna drop a sugar cube in the matcha. I like my matcha a little sweet. And her and this older lady next to me, like they go, no, no. And I was like, oh, what is going on? Like what? <laughs> and essentially she was saying like, try first and then add, which I totally respect, you know? I'm in their world, I'm in their culture, and they just made me probably some ceremonial matcha. Here goes my ass throwing some sugar cube inside of it. So it was just, it was just a funky situation. Um, more so on my end, I need to like definitely, definitely learn the culture a little bit more and understand like I am not in their world. Just felt a little awkward and funky, um, but I'm back home now and I'm hungry, and my mom is still not ready. So I'm gonna get her ready and then we're gonna go get some food. All the breakfast spots are closed, so it's just like lunch and dinner from this point on. And if the, what I just experienced is gonna be what we might experience out on the rest of the town, then we need to definitely like have our shit together before we walk into any establishment. <laughs> because I don't want to feel like that again. Even though it probably is like part of the package, you know, it just comes with um, being in a very small town in Japan. Y'all, this is so stunning. Think about what it must be like to like grow up in a little town like this. Where like seasonally you get your cherry blossoms. 
seasonally you have like little festivals to celebrate like little aspects of nature i see a lot of older people walking around biking they look like they have like nice full long lives it's really beautiful like i just kind of want to take it all in japan is a very very special place very special especially to me i definitely would love to own a home here one day i feel so relaxed i feel like i can breathe it's just wonderful like really wonderful Japan for me feels like a reminder to slow down, a reminder to be more present and connect more with community. There's such a strong connection to community here in Japan that I find to be so wonderful. Just like very inspiring and in the states we have such an individualistic state of mind we move through our country as individuals and not as a community and you really see the difference here in how people navigate their world people pick up their trash people keep things clean people are very considerate for the sake of the community, you know? The farmers out in Chichibu who are growing food aren't using pesticides, aren't using toxic contaminants that can just fuck our food up. And speaking with Masa, you know, he had said that they are considerate of the fact that they're, what they're farming is going into the community, so they want to make sure that it's the best. So they tend to their soil. They tend to making sure that everything that's going to be given to the growth of that said fruit or vegetable is like at its best for the sake of the community. I think that's really beautiful. It's just a reminder to connect back to community for sure. I'm going to sit and enjoy the rest of this for a little bit and just take it in. It's just getting emotional. A few moments later. girls it's our last day here in Fukumitsu we are going to do a whole lot of nothing today's like a self-care day honestly after like two and a half weeks of ripping and running through all of those fucking places it's good to just relax and this town has little to nothing going on in it so we're gonna do just that and relax we're gonna do little to nothing okay I'm gonna do a little bit of packing repacking get all my dirty laundry and shit together I need to find coffee. Yesterday, I found oat milk at the grocery store, like little packs of oat milk. Let me show you. Mm. So now, I don't care. 
about which coffee spot I go to. I just want a nice, strong, hot, good cup of coffee and I'll get my own milk up in there. I'll put my own sugars and shit in there. Even my matcha, I just need the matcha. I'll pour the milk. Don't worry about it, okay? I got it. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna try and get this situated because this has been living on my face for the past like four days. I will say though, I did use mandalic acid on my skin here. This is like my problem areas and it immediately started clearing up. So if you're having issues in like this area here, mandalic acid definitely will just get that right on together because this one right here she is leaving the vicinity do you hear me and i don't want to pop her because anna told me don't pop any of your zits like they will get rid of themselves on their own just like take care of it in the right way possible make sure you're moisturizing hydrating and that you're exfoliating properly so i'm following her tips um outside of that girls let's make today a great day Y'all, today I found some coffee, was able to put my oat milk inside of it. It was actually really delicious, and the oat milk by itself is really good. It's like got a little bit of sweetness to it. We are just wandering around the town now, seeing all of the architecture. They have so many little rivers running through, even like the little back alleys of this space. Wanna walk through there? We're just gonna keep walking. Oh wow. Um, he came back. Yeah, he came yeah. back. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, this town is very, very quiet. Yeah. It's a festival. Ah. Mm. The guy was telling us they ah. setting up over there on the road, mm -hmm. the main street. Oh. I saw the guy; he was directing traffic. What do you call the the, the land, like the lanterns mm -hmm. and like the, ah, yes, the yes. very and beautiful like the music. Next, next time. Next time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, <sorry. laughs> what was your name? I'm Sachio. Sachio Te. Uh, Priscilla. Uh, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So oh my God. No, thank you for your kindness. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. We're going to continue. My English is very poor. Right no! Now, so it's so it's good. Very, but uh, it's very good to talk. It's yeah. Chance, it's very thank good you. for me. Yes, thank well, you. Thank you. Yes, thank okay. you. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Thank yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh. Hello. Hi. Home, it smells beautiful. What? This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi. So handsome and so friendly and so loving. Oh, oh, you just so he's old, yeah. Oh, I'm wow. so twelve. Wow. Thirty. Just. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye guys. Bye.
It is so wild seeing how many kids are out and about running, having a good time, playing out at the playground. The way people come together, even on the weekends, is so amazing to me. We've had a few people like stop us and ask us like, where are we from? Because they don't get a lot of foreigners in this area. A lot of foreigners don't come to Fukumitsu. And everybody has just been so nice and so sweet and just wanting to talk to us. The one lady said she's very happy that she was able to even just have brief conversation with us because she like, likes to practice her English and she has no one really to practice her English around. Wow, this place is just so beautiful. We thought there was nothing in this town and there's so much. So it just goes to show you that like it's good to go and get lost, wander around. Who knows what you may find? Who knows who you'll meet? Anyways, my mom's waiting for me. We're probably going to go grab some pizza, even though I do not want to grab pizza while I'm out in Japan, but I digress. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I just spent like 30 minutes in the drugstore looking at skincare. Japanese skincare is so good on the skin. It's so like perfect for sensitive skin. So I saw a couple brands that I've seen online that I was like, I definitely need to purchase this here because it's a lot cheaper here. So I got a few things I'll show y'all later. But right now I am like always getting caught up in the cute section, the kawaii section of any and all of these stores. Like look at this. Like this is a very dangerous section for me. I need to definitely move away from here because girl. Uh, just wanted to show y'all really quickly what I got. So I got the Sika recipe care cream. Um, I'm a fan of them. I also have their, their travel kit. I had bought this prior to, actually I didn't buy this. I got this in a like little um, Korean, skincare box it was like a um, uh, discounted like rate box and they send you like a bunch of stuff and this came in there so I got this and then I um, I saw that they carried this in the store so I was like oh I'm already using this on the trip let me check this out and see what it's about I also picked up some Lulu Run um, sheet masks I'm trying to get better with my sheet mask at least you know once or twice a week um, this one is the clear I was gonna get the hydrating one but I already have so many hydrating um, skincare products back at home so I figured I would get the clear especially in Miami with the humidity I don't really need a lot of moisture especially during the summer seasons and we're definitely in summertime in Miami and then I've been picking up so many cute little candies that we just don't have in the States this is so cute they got all these flavors here I just love Pokemon and then also I got this from Sika in Hyolan um, it is a it's like a clear spot patch and pretty much like when I pop a zit or whatever the case may be, this is like great to have put over it, keeps it protected, heals it. Also, it has some like healing properties or ingredients and also it totally makes it look like you don't have a big red bump on your face. So after I wash my face tonight, I'm going to do a mask. I'm going to put this on probably tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to go take a little bit of a walk. I just want to get out of the house and enjoy the last the last evening here. I want to go sit by the cherry blossoms and just enjoy it. So
Y'all, it is so cold right now. Let me check the temperature. It is, whew, in Nanto, it is whew, 51 degrees, but it feels like it's fucking 41 right now. So, y'all, this town is quiet. Like nobody is out. It is hush hush. It's a girl, shut your motherfucking mouth quiet. It's such a rush, oh, quiet. Like through the teeth quiet. <sighs> Freezing. But there's a cute little alleyway here. I wanna see what this is about. I gotta keep it a buck fifty with you. Um, I went and got myself a medium sized pizza, and let me tell you, I don't even eat cheese. But what they was doing in there with these flavors, <laughs> listen. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna head home now. It's my last night here in Fukumitsu. My last night here, so I'm gonna go home, pack up, get ready. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna do a little self-care, do a little um, face mask, just hydrate. It's been so cold out here. I know my skin is like screaming for moisture and I wanna take care of it. So I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna holla at y'all tomorrow. We're heading to Kyoto tomorrow again for like four days. We're in a really cool spot, really nice Airbnb. I'm very excited about it. And I am actually so excited to go back to that damn bakery. I didn't vlog about this because I was carrying my big ass backpack and my other little small backpack. So I didn't really have the arms or the hands for it. But let me tell you, there is a bakery over there that I posted on my Instagram that has honey butter bread and the outside of the toast is like this crispy, crunchy, chewy, like outside and then on the inside it's soft and chewy and buttery and sweet and when i tell you mm, i cannot wait i don't know where we are as far as the airbnb and that location but when i tell you i will take the bus the train i'll hop on a flight just to get back over there to get some of that honey butter bread and i'm definitely gonna vlog about it this time i want to put them on blast because oh my god <sighs> anyways y'all calling it a night for the 18th time I'm gonna holla at you girls in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> I'll holla at you girls in Kyoto. Bye. Oh yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and all that jazz. Bye. Bye. <laughs>